Hi, it's Kristen. Welcome back for another DIY video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to make a no sew mask. This has been highly requested from a lot of you guys who maybe don't own sewing machines or don't have much experience in that area. So I'm gonna show you how to make a medical face mask using heat and bond adhesive. We will begin by cutting out our rectangle shape of fabric. For a women's mask, we're doing 14 long by eight inches wide. If you're doing a, a mask for a man, then you can up that by one or two inches each direction. And then same for a child, you can go down two to three inches each direction, just depending on the age of the child. While you wait for the adhesive to cool completely, this is a good time to use your pinking shears to prevent fraying on the seam just outside of where we just used the adhesive. Once the adhesive has cooled completely, you can move your seam to the center of the mask and then we are going to press the seam open. Next, we're going to adhere the elastics. I am using eighth inch elastic and I cut it to seven inches. For this, I like to tuck the elastic inside the mask and then allow a little bit to stick out the side. And then I'm going to iron just the top half of the mask and leave the bottom half, half open so I can then grab the elastic and move it into position on the bottom. This part can be a little tricky. Just make sure that you don't get the length of the elastic uh, adhered with the heat and bond. You wanna make sure, as you can see with my left hand, I'm kind of pulling it to the side and then just making sure that the little tail sticking out is what I'm going to adhere. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, just make sure that your iron sets the adhesive for three to five seconds to make sure it fully melts. After the adhesive completely cools, it's time to turn your mask right side out. 
This is a great time to check and make sure that all the adhesive has fully melted and cooled the way it was supposed to. I also like to go ahead and repress the seams once I have it completely flipped out just to kind of reinforce that adhe adhesive and make sure everything has stuck well. Next, we're gonna make our lines for our pleats. We're gonna start by folding the mask in half and pressing, and then we're gonna open our mask back up and then fold each side inward and press again to make, like I said, the guides for our pleats. We are going to cut our heat and bond adhesive in half. We only need small little strips for our pleats. And then each pleat just needs a little one inch piece. So we're doing six one inch pieces of this half size heat and bond strip. I did find that because of the multiple layers of fabric that I was trying to iron through, it did take a lot longer for the adhesive to fully melt. So just keep an eye on it. I definitely did more like 10 to 15 seconds at a time. And then I would just gently check it and make sure that it had melted before I moved on to the next pleat. After your pleats have cooled completely, it's time to add the nose piece into the top of our mask. So to do this, we're gonna go through the filter pocket and today I am using a tin tie that I got on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description below, but it works perfectly in the mask because it's just the right size. It actually comes with a little bit of adhesive on it already and it's not going to rest in the wash. So I like to go ahead and insert that in the top and then I'm gonna use a little bit of fabric glue just to kind of reinforce that and make sure that it's not going to come out in the wash. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to make a no sew face mask that you can use to make grocery runs or whatever you need it for. It's great to just slide a filter right in the filter pocket. And if you're looking for ideas for a filter, I also have a video on that on my channel. Don't forget to share this video with your friends who you think may be interested in it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful to you. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're gonna try making these masks or if you have any questions. I love to hear from you guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.